Hello everyone. As a very special surprise, before you go for your summer holidays, we would like to say goodbye to you with this presentation on the history of your school. So, do you remember who the founder was? Do you remember her name? I know you do. Mrs. Randall. Very good. Okay, so here we have a photo of Mrs. Linda Randall. And when did we start our school? When did we found our school? Do you remember the year? What year was it in? Do you remember? 1969. Very good. So nearly over 50 years ago, 51 years ago, our school was founded by Mrs. Linda Randall. And with the motto, lifelong love of learning. Now, Mrs. Randall, where was she from? Was she from England? Was she from Ireland? Maybe the USA? I know you know, she was from Wales. And our mascot of our school is our dragon, the same as on the flag. And what's his name? Yes, Dewey, very good. Our mascot who came with Mrs. Randall. So, our school opening in 1969. Look at that main entrance. What a difference. That was the first door, the first entrance of our school back in those days. And also look at the school bus. What a difference. It's a little bit different today, right? So these were our school buses back then 50 years ago. And also, if you see here, this is where our school was. So the first school was here in this black box. Can you see? School now is here with the roundabout. And then this is where it first started. Okay. Then we had a very important extension, our first extension in 1972. You can see the building here with two floors, which the Randall family lived in part of it. And then the classrooms, slightly different to what we have now, right? And also you can see some photos of some activities of when the school, of then in those days in 1972. They had a pony in the school and you can see there Mrs. Randall with her children riding the pony. So this was our first uh, extension. And look, look at our staff. How many people can you see there? 15, 20. That was the staff within the academic year of 74, 75. And look, we had some very special visits back then. In 1976, we had the ambassador's wife, uh, the British ambassador's wife in Spain, came to visit our school because we were the, one of the first British and bilingual schools in that time in Spain and of course in this area. So look here, this is a photo of the school, the full school. How many students do you think there are there? 70? 80? What do you think? Well, there were 180 students within the school year. And now, how many students do we have now? What do you think? Today, how many students do we have? Well, we have nearly 800 students in school. What a difference, a, such a big difference from 180 and going up to nearly 800 students. Our first graduation in 1977 and still today it's quite similar, but here you have Mrs. Randall handing the certificate of graduation to her students. And we had a second extension and third so we had a small extension here in 1978 and then look in 1985 
Mrs. Randall and her family bought the house and the land that maybe some of you will remember. This house, called the Torreon, as you can see here, was one of, was then built into, we made offices and some classrooms. And do you remember? The swimming pool behind, the canteen, and then some of the sports courts that we, we still have today. Then something very important, a, a special award that was given to Mrs. Randall for her being the best businesswoman of the year of 1995 here in El Puerto Santa Maria, looking, um, giving her recognition of her excellence of her determination and all of her strength of what she does um, every day for, for us. So, also within 1995, we had another extension, the David Randall Building, which all of you have your classes in at the moment, where the hall is, where your classrooms are. And also, we started up our school uniform for the younger children, not for the bachelorette students. If you look a little bit, you can still see similar colors and similar design of our uniform today. Another very important achievement that Mrs. Randall was given was a certificate of quality for our school. And she was given to this by Manuel Chavez. Very special moment for Mrs. Randall. So we've looked at the past. We look at the present and of course our importance is our future. Look at this. This is you, your student profile. All of these values that we are learning, all of these skills that we are developing, this is all about you and about you being our perfect English Centre student. And look, our projects. I'm sure that some of you have been doing some of these projects this year and maybe in previous years and for next year maybe you can do some different ones or continue we're very proud of our projects and the dedication that the teachers put into them from doing things of learning values reading music skills technology and being creative and look at our staff do you remember the slide before with 15 or 20 team members look at it today how many staff members we have that are taking your hand and guiding you through your educational journey with us from our administration staff to our, our, our helpers to our monitors to your teachers your tutors to our heads direct to the directors everyone is there for you and our special head boy and head girl we have a very special uh, celebration once a year where we hand over our uh, old head boy and head girl to the new head boy and head girl. And you can see some photos of previous head boys and girls. This year was very special. As you can see, we did our head boy and head girl tea celebration online. So we sadly said goodbye to Laura and Javi but we welcomed with big arms Julio and Marina, which we know are going to be excellent head boy and head girls for next year. We know that we're very sad that Laura and Javi are not going to be with us anymore, but we know that they've done a fantastic job and we're very proud of them and we wish them all the best. House competitions. So you know this, all of the competitions and activities we've been doing over the years. And look at that history and who's won every year. This year? Who were the winners this year? Who, who were they? I don't know. They were St Andrews. Well done to the team. And I know that everyone tried so hard and you all participated excellently. And I know that you're going to try very hard next year to see if your team can win. Well done, guys. Okay. And look at these events that we do. We have many events from celebrating Dia de Andalucía, from celebrating our Stepford Day. So it's very important that we remember these events that we do in school. And our graduation. You've just seen a picture of our first graduation. And this was our last year's graduation. How important 
and we want to celebrate the success of our students and their year with us. Our other events, as you know, are Christmas, very special events. The first Christmas tree, the first Christmas, nativity play, our carol concert, Father Christmas. This, I know, I'm sure you remember this year, if you acted in them, the lines you had to say, the songs you sang, the costume that you wore, remember that because it's very important. And look, our new Founders Day Day, which is on the 25th of September, we celebrated this year in remembrance of Mrs. Randall and everything she's done for us for our school. We are looking forward to celebrating it next year too as well. Your hymn, okay, we all know the hymn, don't we? And if you don't, you need to practice a little bit. And us, our sense, our sense of our school, what we belong to. As we talked about Dewey, our mascot, of course, our head boy and head girl, and maybe one of you who is watching this today is thinking, I would like to be head boy and head girl. Well, you know you can. You just need to work hard and speak to your teachers. School council, this is vital for the running of the school and listening to the students. Your house competitions, as we talked about, assemblies, the importance of our assemblies, our events like World Value Day, Christmas event, for example, and how we are at the dining room, in the dining room, sorry. So I'm sure that since you've been at home, I'm sure you've been showing your mum and dad how amazing you are and how correct and polite you are when you're having your meals. So continue that and we will continue next year too. And then of course, we have created history. This is the first time ever the English Centre has done classes online. You should be so proud. We are very proud of you for this. And this is history. So well done. We think there's been an, an amazing year. Um, I would like to say a big special thank you to everyone. And from the Randall family, have an amazing summer. I hope you liked a little bit of history um, about the school to remember the importance of where we, where we come from and where we are today. Have an amazing summer. All the best. We're very proud of you and enjoy and we'll see you next year. Bye.